ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Payne here, the host of Dr. Payne's Clinic Wrestling Show. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you the viewer, the wrestling fan, it's your lucky day. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you get the opportunity of a lifetime. You get to call into the studio and choose who you want to see wrestle next. <laughs> That's right. It's extreme wrestling like you've never seen. Sitting alongside me here, my fellow commentator, my sidekick, the doctor's number one critic, Mr. Matt E. Legit. Thanks, Dr. Payne. Hello, everyone out there in TV land, and welcome. As the doctor was saying, this show is the newest phenomenon to hit Portland since the 1970s. It's extreme wrestling like you've never seen. That's right, Portland! <laughs> what's so funny, Dr. Payne? What's so funny? <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what's so damn funny. This right here, Curtis the Bull walking on the side of the road. That's right, on my way to the studio this morning, I happened to pass Curtis the Bull's limousine on the side of the highway. It looks like Curtis won't be here to wrestle tonight. <laughs> I'll have to wrestle for him then, won't I? Well, you know what, Payne? I think that sounds awful suspicious. Curtis the Bull's limo conveniently runs out of gas on the highway. Your evil laugh. Come on, what are you up to? No. I know this much. You screwed Curtis the Bull out of the World Championship a few weeks ago at the Stagecoach Saloon. No way. I bet my bottom dollar that you're up to something. Nope. But you know what? You're gonna pay for this one. Nope. Sooner or later around here, you're gonna have to face the music, Dr. Payne. What is wrong with you? First of all, the limousine driver should have checked his fuel gauge. Second of all, I had nothing to do, there ain't no proof that I had anything to do with helping Venom win the world title. If so, the CEO, Mr. Spiker, would have said something to me. There's something wrong with you in the head, Dr. Payne. I was there, in person, live, sitting right next to you. Nope. As I recall, you had a chain hidden in your towel. Then, when it looked like Curtis had the mat wrapped up, you pulled out the chain, knocked out the ref, and gave the bull an ass whooping I'll never forget. That's what happened, isn't it? Nope, 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 that's not right. I don't remember. Well, I think I may have forgot. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, standing by in the locker room is the CEO of Dr. Payne's clinic, Mr. Spiker. Mr. Spiker, sir, I know you weren't there that night. You left early for Florida. However, I know you've been listening from the locker room. What's to be done to Dr. Payne for helping Venom win the world title? And furthermore, how does all this new information reflect tonight's world title main event? Yes, Matt, you're absolutely right. I've been thinking long and hard on how I'm going to discipline all three involved that night. At this time, I want to call Venom, the new DPC World Heavyweight Champion, for an interview. Venom! Yeah! It's got to feel pretty good being the new world champion. Yeah, it feels good winning the gold. Now I know I'm number one in the Pacific Northwest. You ain't number one. Hey, Give me that title. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm stripping you of the title. In fact, there's going to be a tournament tonight. That's crap. No, it's not crap. We're having a tournament for the world title. The match was fair and square. Let me show you fair and square. It's my belt. Take a look at the monitor. Dr. Payne, I'm suspending you from wrestling tonight in the World Title Tournament. Now do you see why I'm stripping you of the title? You better get ready. I'm putting you in the tournament. Oh yeah, first round, you're taking on the genetic beast, Carney. You better go get ready. <gasps> Matt, back to you. Thanks, Mr. Spiker. Wow, that's incredible. What do you think of that breaking news, Dr. Payne? Okay, so what? Curtis the Bull got screwed. That's called payback. <laughs> well, he might be on his, still on I-5 on his way here as we speak. Just remember, Curtis the Bull is worthless. He belongs to all the worthless cattle. <laughs> the ringmaster strikes again. <laughs> I'm getting some, some info relayed from the locker room. What's that, Ed? 
You can't be serious. Mr. Spiker said that? Incredible news from our CEO, Mr. Spiker, fans. Tonight, Curtis the Bull will have an opportunity to get his revenge on Dr. No! Payne, because tonight, we will have a first blood match. No, no, what no. What do you think about that, Dr. Payne? Oh, no, first blood match, never. The Bull has to be in, in here to wrestle, right? Well, of course. He's got to be here. He's walking right now. I don't think he's going to make it. I ain't wrestling no first blood match. You're crazy. I think you're afraid of the Bull. And I if he were here, you wouldn't be calling him a chicken. The hell I wouldn't. He's a chicken farmer. <laughs> well, looks like you spoke too soon, Dr. Payne. The producers just informed me that the Bulls limo is en route here to the studio no! as we speak. Wow, folks, huge news. We have the voice of the clinic, Chris Armstrong, standing outside the studio. Hello, Matt. As you said, I'm standing outside of the studio awaiting the arrival of Curtis the Bull. I heard he's en route, but, uh, but we'll be awaiting him. He's not here just yet. And to answer your question, I'll try to get a statement from him, but I don't expect him to be too terribly happy. Well, so far, nothing yet, but uh, we're waiting. Oh, wait. This, this is probably him. Let's see if we can get a statement from him. Wow, he is really late. Uh, Curtis, uh, Curtis the Bull, do you have a statement for us? Is there a, why are you so late? Do, do, you, do you understand what, what happened? What, what's going on? Let me tell you something. I had some car Please. problems on the way here, and I'll tell you what right now. I think Payne had something to do with it. You, you really think Dr. Payne was in on this? That's that right. he'd, he'd interfere with you getting here? That's right, he did. He did. I'll tell you something right now. I need to find him right now. Hey, it's okay. It's, it's cool. No, it's not cool. You <laughs> gotta tell me where he is. I, I don't. I, I wanna I, know where Dr. Payne I, I, is. I, I think, right now! I think he's in the studio! Yeah, that's right! I, but you can't go in there! Watch out, cake boy. I'll take you out right here. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Curtis, you, you can't go in there. You, they're, they're, they're filming. You, you, I, I, I don't. I don't know where he's at. You know where he's at. I. I he, he, you can't see the lights on. You can't. You just. just and look, just relax. Just relax. Where's Payne at? I know Payne's here. Where the hell you going? I'm gonna take you out tonight, buddy. You're going down. You and your crew. All of you. Please get some help in here. No security. Come out here. Security. Ah. Well, well, Payne. Are you happy? Maybe. I have a feeling this isn't the last you've seen of Curtis the Bull. In fact, I'd be scared if I was you. You need to wash that makeup off your face, find a place to hide. Because if Curtis gets a chance, he'll snap your neck like a chicken. Never, never. Dr. Payne the Clown never picks a fight he can't win. Ha, 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 ha. And remember, you mess with one clown, you mess with the whole circus. That's why I got the clown mob. Ha, 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 ha.